Hey everybody, welcome back. I have no problem telling everybody how much I love Node Red. I spend my day coding in Atom and just writing raw HTML, PHP, JavaScript, all those types of things. And I love being able to just, for my fun stuff, come in here and drag and drop and maybe write a little function here or there, but just keep it simple. And so one of the things I realized when I was making my last video is that nearly every time I talk about Node Red, I talk about it in the context of being on a Raspberry Pi. And there's really no reason to run it on a Raspberry Pi, or at least I should say no reason you have to run it on a Raspberry Pi. I'll tell you this, one of the reasons why I tend to do it on a Raspberry Pi is one, it's easy to install and is on most of them by default. And two, it's basically like a mini server. So it just sits there. In fact, this one that I'm running on right now is underneath my monitor. It's kind of stuck back against the wall and it just runs 24 seven. And regardless of what I'm doing on my computer, it just works. But there's no reason to go out and buy a Raspberry Pi if you want to install Node Red and use Node Red. And in fact, I also use it on some live servers and there's no reason to go out and buy a real server to do that. So I'm going to show you how to install Node Red on your computer. So if you're on Windows or Mac, you can just go to nodejs.org and download it and install it that way. And in fact, I'll do that while I'm talking. So one of the things to understand is that Node Red basically sits on top of Node.js. And so there's three things that are going to work together. There is Node.js, which is the overall framework we'd call it and then there's npm which is the node package manager and that is what goes out and gets additional resources and then on top of that there's node red and so basically um you need to have node js installed if you're going to run node red and so on windows or mac that's just an installer on something like ubuntu it's pretty easy you can just come in here they have a few things they recommend you do to, to get it set up and then it's basically sudo apt get node.js install node.js that simple and uh, and so basically once you have node.js installed then you can come to something like a command line and type in node v and you'll see that I have 10.16.0 now um, we can also check that other thing I told you about was npm so we can do npm v and we're going to see that I have 6.9.0. So basically, when I ran that installer, I got Node.js and I got Node NPM, but I did not get Node Red. And so I'm going to go over here and we're going to look here at this. And it basically gives us this one little installer. Now, for those of you that are on Windows or Mac, you're probably not used to installing software from the command line. And so it's a little different. And the way this runs is not obvious so what we're going to do i'm going to right click and i'm going to paste that and we're going to install it and it's going to do some things that look very linuxy on my windows machine and again node red in fact the first time i clicked it on a pi like i ran it and something kind of popped up in the command line and literally nothing happened and i was like what the heck and so the first couple times i tried to run node red i didn't even really understand what it was doing or how it worked or why i couldn't see anything on the screen so I've installed Node Red and now you guys have seen me do this. If I come over here and do 127.01.1880, nothing is gonna happen. And for those of you who aren't used to running servers, then you're not gonna really understand what to do here. So what you wanna do is you wanna go um, in the command line, you wanna go Node Red. Now, if you're on Linux or Mac, you don't want to run this is sudo you don't want to run sudo node red you don't it's it's a bad idea it'll just cause you all kinds of problems stuff like that so just type in node red and basically what's going to happen over here is you're going to see that this thing is is going on in fact it gave me an error because I, I don't have my arduino plugged in but basically my last flow just popped up in here even though i had uninstalled it my last flow it remembered what it was it installed it and great um so I'm running Node Red now. Now, if I were to come over here and close this window, and then try to refresh the page, it's not going to work. And the thing is, that Node Red has to be running in the background as a service. Now you can do it when you boot Windows if you want to, but this has to be running in order to 
have node red run. And so when I come over here and I refresh the page, now all of a sudden it's working. So you can minimize that, you can get that out of your way. Um, now there's a few things that I already have installed on this one. I thought it would have already deleted all this stuff, but I'll go ahead and show you anyway. So if you want to communicate with a Raspberry Pi, there's a lot of different ways to do it, but you'll see in some of my other videos, I have this serial one. So you can come over here to the palette manager and you can type install and I'm just going to type the word serial and I'll show you that. Let's see here. It'll be installed. So, uh, node red node serial port and you can install that in fact i'm going to show you something a little interesting in a minute so the few that you're definitely going to want to install are node red serial port and then if you come in here and type in dashboard um node red dashboard that should be installed also node red dashboard is um is the thing that allows us to do stuff like this if i do ui i basically i'm going to have a full um you know a full dashboard of, of stuff there and so basically that's it I do want to show you one thing that's kind of interesting so when I load this up here to give you an idea of how these things are all working if I were to come back here to this and run node red and then come here to the palette manager we'll just pick something else and let's go to install and let's type in uh, timer there's a really cool timer one it's called big timer so uh, node red contrib big timer so if I install that and tell, for one thing, I will say, you can click this and it'll take you to the web page and give you some information about it. And, and it's kind of nice. One of the things I like to look here is, is this tells me what this is going to look like. And so when I install it, I know what I'm looking for. So if I come here and hit install, you'll see that stuff is actually happening over here. Like this stuff, it added the nodes. And, and it's not a bad idea to have this open because every once in a while something won't work and you'll get some feedback as to why it didn't load so um, I'm gonna close this and then now all of a sudden over here on the left I have this really bright green big timer thing and there's just a ton of options a lot of times I see people with an Arduino or something making uh, you know making all kinds of really complicated schedules and trying to use real-time clocks and stuff when node red can do this stuff for us so anyway that is a very quick less than eight minutes on how to get node red working without using a Raspberry Pi and so you could just come in here and you can search like if you want to connect your Arduino you can come in here and search and, and I'm on COM16 and so it'll connect it to COM16 and super simple it runs exactly as if I was running it on a Pi I'm just running it on a PC so hope that's helpful have a great day